able to go to well-lit places for our church soul winning, but we'll be uh, back to completely being back to normal by, uh, by this next Tuesday evening. So please come out this week. Hey, thanks to the folks that came out Tuesday night. We had a good group of people that came out on Tuesday evening. And one of the things that we did Tuesday night was unusual. We went over to the school in Parkland and actually just had a time of prayer for those people and asked that God would show us a way that we could minister during the, the, the very, very difficult time that those people are going through. And I think that one of the things that each of us saw when we were there is, we already knew this, I think, but it just became more apparent, is when we looked at the fences around it, you know, people have put posters all the way around uh, that school. It's just how divisive and how much, how much a tragedy is being used to align people on opposite ends of a political spectrum instead of ministering to people who are going through a very, very difficult time. And this is a time that folks need Jesus. And so I'd encourage you, if you're able to make a poster or something like that, that has just the scripture on it without any kind of a political motive, you know, trying to keep guns, trying to get rid of guns, or uh, trying to, you know, push people to this direction or people to this direction, but rather instead to exalt Jesus Christ, that would give these folks, these dear folks that are going through a very, very difficult time, uh, something that would offer hope. And so I've had actually some already respond by making posters or signs, but if you'd like to, we'll try to get those out there and put them up. And if you saw, if you saw the posters there, it's just tragic, actually. It's just too bad that, that literally when people are suffering so much, they're being used as political pawns or tools instead of ministered to. And so we want to minister. So pray about that. This Tuesday evening will be regular soul winning. And also it's birthday today. Uh, Brian's got a birthday today. And Angela has a birthday today. So we're having a birthday cake after church tonight at uh, 6 p.m. Got the cake here already if you want to look at it and see if you want to come to church tonight or not. <laughs> anyway, we'll be having a little bit of a party uh, this, this evening after the service. And then uh, the rest of the announcements are on the church bulletin, but I do want to mention the church work day and workers work day and workers meeting this coming up Saturday. This this uh, week we're going to our project for this Saturday is going to be our soffit lighting. You may have noticed that in the dark it's very dark out front, so we're going to see if we can improve that. Uh, Dr. Bill Rice, when he was here last week, said, "You know this place looks a lot nicer than it used to." And it's good to hear that because we're always trying to fix things. But uh, I'll tell you what, it just seems like when you, you, you try to look through other people's eyes, you just see so many things about our facility here that are less than ideal. And really our goal isn't to have something fancy or have a showpiece. We wouldn't be here if that were the case. But what we want to do is actually give the impression that we're a church that's moving forward, that we're growing, and that we're concerned about doing things well. And so we are trying to just schedule a project for each, each month of this year, something that we can do not only to improve our facility, but also make it easier for us to be able to do the ministry. And the, and the parking lot lighting is very important. So that'll be one of our projects for this Saturday morning. Everything else is in the bulletin. If you're visiting with us, uh, we want to say that we are very delighted to have each of you who would be here for your first time. And it really, really does, uh, really does make our day when you come. You're an answer to prayer. We pray for people to come. And when you come, you're actually answered to a specific prayer, and we see it that way. So it really is a great connection between God hearing our prayers and you being here today, and that means a lot. If you would do us the honor of filling out the church visitor card, in a moment when we take up the offering, that's all we ask of our guest in the offering would be to slip your visitor information in the offering plate when it passes by. Speaking of which, I want to ask if our men would come at this time. We'll prepare for taking up our offering this morning. Again, for our visitors, we would ask of you, that you would slip a offering or slip the, your visitor card in the offering plate. For everyone else, we would ask that you would consider the needs of the ministry and prayerfully ask God for His grace to be able to use you in the offering. Let's pray. Are you ready to pray, kids? Yeah. Okay, let's ask God's blessing, shall we? God, it really is true that without you we can do nothing. And without you we actually have nothing. And so everything that we have, including ourselves, is yours. And I pray that that would be manifested in the way in which we respond to the opportunity to give today and that you would bless each giver here and lord that you would take what's given and multiply it as only you could do we pray in jesus name amen, amen.